For the fourth consecutive season and the 11th time in 21 years, the UConn women's basketball team reached the pinnacle of their sport. What started off as an elite recruiting class oozing with potential culminated here in Indianapolis, where UConn has made history. Four years, four national championships. The game itself was another UConn women's game. The Syracuse Orange, appearing in their first championship game, couldn't handle the three-headed monster of Morgan Tuck, Mariah Jefferson, and final four most outstanding player, Brianna Stewart. The end result was an 82-51 win and a fourth straight national championship. <laughs> guys because it was more than that like they did they never said it but this one was more than just another national championship it was really really emotional it was really special and uh, I love their reaction at the end because last year it was kind of like ah, yeah we won this year it was it was pretty amazing this championship didn't start at the start of the tournament it started in the summertime when we were doing workouts with the military and with Kimball so uh, you really have to work hard each and every day so that when you're, you're tested and you're put in tough situations that you're prepared for it. This game came with a bittersweet taste as the superstars of this UConn team, Stewart, Tuck, and Jefferson, all played their final game in a UConn uniform, ending their career 24-0 in the NCAA tournament. The girls looked back on playing under head coach Gino Auriemma. Uh, what Coach Auriemma means to me, you know, I don't know if you can put it to words. The way he's, you know, just really helped me become a great person, a great player, a great person. And, you know, it's sad. It's sad that you gotta, you gotta move on and that kind of stuff. But, you know, I hope that um, I'll be seeing him sometime soon. Uh, it's, you know, at first it's really difficult. You know, you have to get used to his style of coaching and really try to understand, you know, the method to his madness. But I think as you get older, you really appreciate it in that he puts so much time and effort into us. And he's been here, you know, over 30 years. So, you know, he could easily kind of, you know, ride it out and not do much. But he's really invested and, you know, he just makes you a better person and player. While it wasn't their fourth straight title for sophomores Gabby Williams and Kia Nurse, both players can stand with their graduating seniors, knowing only of winning national championships. Gosh, I mean, you, you think about how it's going to go, and uh, you talk about it before, and you, know, you talk about what you have to do, but I don't know, it's, when it actually happens, it's just a whole different feeling. And um, at that moment, you know, all our hard work paid off, and everything that we've been through paid off, and we, we earned it, you know, and we, we felt it. I don't know if it's completely sunk in. Um, obviously... We, we win a lot, but these are the moments that you want to be in. These are the games and the places that you want to be. And from the beginning of the year, this was our goal, and we didn't talk about it very often. So now the fact that we get to talk about it and it's kind of come to, to fruition is, uh, is pretty special. This UConn team has now ascended into the basketball heaven, ending another perfect season with another national championship. From Indianapolis, home of the Final Four, I'm Anthony DiBernardo, and this is UC Sports.